تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آرس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی اسما حفیظ فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنز پرائم منسٹر ہیز ایکسپریسڈ پاکستان فارم کمٹمنٹ ٹو دا پرپز اینڈ پرنسپلس آف دا یونائٹیڈ نیشنز چارٹر یو اے ای ہیز کنفرڈ آرڈر آف دا یونین میڈل آن آرمی چیف کمر جاوید باجوا ان ریکگنیشن آف ہز سگنیفیکنٹ کانٹریبیوشنز فار پروموشن آف بائلیٹرل ٹوائز بٹوین دا ٹو کنٹریز فائنانس منسٹر سیز دا گورنمنٹ از فوکسنگ آن انہانسنگ ایکسپورٹس اینڈ فارم پروڈکٹیوٹی ٹو اپ لفٹ اکانمی آف دا کنٹری دا سیکنڈ ون ڈے انٹرنیشنل آف دا تھری میچ سیریز بٹوین پاکستان اینڈ نیدرلینڈس ول بی پلیڈ ایٹ روٹرڈم ٹمورو اینڈ ناؤ دا نیوز ان ڈیٹیل Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif says Pakistan has been contributing actively to the work of the UN, especially in the areas of peacekeeping, humanitarian action, climate change and international cooperation for sustainable development. Talking to the UN resident coordinator Julian Hannes in Islamabad today, he underscored Pakistan's firm commitment to the purposes and principles of the UN Charter. Jabaz Sharif appreciated the significant role played by the UN in supporting Pakistan's progress towards the attainment of UN Agenda 2030 and Sustainable Development Goals. The Prime Minister expressed serious concerns on the devastation caused by recent floods across Pakistan. He said provision of humanitarian relief to the people in the affected area is a high priority of his government. The UN Resident Coordinator reiterated the world body's continued support to Pakistan in its ongoing endeavor for a resilient recovery from COVID-19 and sustainable development. President of UA, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan has conferred Order of the Union Medal on Army Chief Kamar Javed Bajwa in recognition of his significant contributions for promotion of bilateral ties between the two countries. The medal was conferred upon the Army Chief when he called on the UAE's president. Matters of mutual interest, bilateral defense and security cooperation and regional security situation also came under discussion during the meeting. The two leaders agreed that Pakistan and UAE share a great history of cordial relations and deep-rooted spirit of brotherhood, which is transforming into an enduring partnership. Finance Minister Mifta Ismail has said the government is focusing on enhancing exports and farm productivity to uplift economy of the country. Addressing leaders in Islamabad Business Summit in Islamabad today, he assured to extend facilitation to the companies in exporting their products to the international market. He stressed that every company should export at least 10% of their products to earn valuable foreign exchange for the country. As regards the agriculture sector, the finance minister said a task force has been established to address the problems faced by his productive sector of the economy. He said the country this year has so far imported 1.1 million tons of wheat. He said the money spent on import of wheat could be saved by supporting the farmers and introducing latest technology in this sector. The finance minister said we will also have to create a balance in our incomes and expenditures and have to live within our means to address the issues of budget and trade deficits. Mifta Ismail also emphasized for promoting education in the country to register successes in different fields. Addressing the summit, Minister for Climate Change Sherry Rahman pointed out that climate change is impacting 9.1 million percent of our GDP. Describing climate change a national security problem, she said Pakistan will not compromise on its long-term mitigation promises. Sherry Rahman pointed out that climate change is impacting 9.1% of our GDP. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, six members of a Muslim family, including three women, have been found dead in their home under suspicious circumstances in Sidra area of Jammu district. The incident created a sense of fear and panic situation in the area, while the cause of death is not yet known. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan have accepted an invitation from Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to meet in Lviv tomorrow. The leaders will review the deal, allowing Ukrainian grain to be shipped to world markets to help alleviate the global grain crisis and discuss ways to end the six-month-old war. The three, lead- the three leaders will also discuss the situation at the Russian-controlled Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. In our cricket, 
The second one day international of the three match series between Pakistan and Netherlands will be played tomorrow at Rotterdam. The match will start at 2 p.m. Pakistan is leading the series by 1 nil. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gob.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news.